Germany's Martyr infantry fighting vehicle recently turned 50 years old, but it is still going strong with the German military and other countries, and for good reason. Developed during the Cold War, the Martyr has been praised for having incredible firepower and superb tactical mobility. It is armed with powerful anti-tank missiles, a 20mm cannon, three MG3 machine guns, and the latest electronic systems and countermeasures. The Martyr can also reach up to 70 kilometers per hour, climb vertical obstacles up to one meter tall, and traverse water depths of two meters while providing optimal protection for the crew. Rheinmetall and the Bundeswehr are confident the vehicle will continue to operate well beyond its 60th anniversary, thanks to its continuous enhancements, but it will soon be put to the test in the modern battlefields where it is headed next. Well armed. Development of the Schützenpanzer Martyr Infantry Fighting Vehicle, or IFV, began in the early 1960s. West Germany's army, the Bundeswehr, required a state of the art armored vehicle to carry its troops into combat. The first martyrs were delivered to the army in May 1971, and over 3,000 reached operational status with Germany by 1975. It became the optimal IFV for Germany's renowned Panzer Grenadiers, or mechanized infantry. The Martyr has a length of 6.79 meters, a width of 3.24 meters, and a height of almost 3 meters. The original model has a combat weight of around 28.5 tons, with newer iterations reaching 38 tons. The IFV's hull and turret are made of welded steel. They can be fitted with rolled homogeneous armor to protect the crew from improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, 20mm armor piercing, and 25mm APDS rounds. Three crew members command the vehicle, and six fully armed soldiers can be accommodated in the troop compartment. Commander and gunner can access Perry Z11 and Perry Z11A1 thermal sight systems, and the Attica GM thermal imager to operate adequately under harsh weather conditions. The main armament comprises a 20mm Mk20 RH202 automatic cannon, complemented by three Mg3 7.2mm machine guns. Additionally, the Martyr is equipped with Milan and Mel's anti-tank missiles. All over the world. The standard Martyr IFV is powered by an MTU MB833 EA500 diesel engine with an approximate road speed of 65 kilometers per hour and a combat range of 520 kilometers. The Martyr has an all-terrain capability with half a meter of ground clearance that allows it to climb vertical steps of up to one meter and cross almost three meter trenches. Its amphibious capabilities allow it to four depths of two meters, making the Martyr ideal for traveling around difficult terrain and small bodies of water. The vehicle has been modified several times to keep it up to date with other IFVs, adding air conditioning, multispectral camouflage, electronic protection systems, GPS systems, wider tracks, more powerful brakes, and other quality of life changes. The Martyr has also been exported to Indonesia, Jordan, Chile, and Argentina, where it has been dubbed the TAM, or Tanque Argentino Mediano. Battle tested. The first combat deployment of the Martyr came in June 1999, when the NATO-led Kosovo force entered Yugoslavia. In typical German doctrine, the Martyr IFVs advanced side by side with the imposing Leopard 2 tank and the Lux armored reconnaissance vehicle. The Martyr was used in a security role, guiding mobile checkpoints and conducting surveillance operations. The German IFV demonstrated its all-terrain capabilities over the rough terrain of the Balkans making it a valuable asset for surveillance operations, troop transport, convoy, and patrol escort duties. In 2003, the Martyr was upgraded to the 1A5 version due to the threat of landmines. The decision was worth it when the Martyr 1A5A1s were deployed to Afghanistan as part of the Security Assistance Force in 2007. Over 35 IFVs served in Mazar-e-Sharif and Kunduz to reinforce the Quick Reaction Force. Despite being developed for a different weather environment, 
the martyr once again proved its versatility by crossing rivers and rugged terrain while withstanding harsh heat. Temperatures inside the rear compartment of the vehicle often reached 80 degrees Celsius. To ease the heat suffered by the soldiers, all 35 martyrs were fitted with air conditioning systems. With the support of wheeled vehicles like the Dingo, the martyr also conducted security operations and flanking maneuvers against enemy personnel. Allied troops felt secure around martyrs when on patrol. The only IFVs that suffered damage were those ambushed by enemies with numerical superiority and were armed with RPGs, or rocket-propelled grenades, and improvised explosives. 50th Anniversary The Martyr turned 50 years old in 2021 and is still going strong today. In early November, Europese Schickerheit and Technik and Rheinmetall provided more details about the latest upgrades planned for the vehicle. Despite the slow replacement of the Martyr by the more modern Puma, the Bundeswehr still plans to employ its time-tested IFV for the decade to come. Rheinmetall recently announced it is currently working with 70 Martyrs undergoing service life extension. One of the upgrades includes the new MELS anti-tank guided missiles based on the Israeli Spike missile. The MELS can take out targets at distances of almost 2.5 miles. This powerful missile replaces the dated Milan missile, originally developed during the Cold War era to arm the first-generation martyrs. Another new piece of equipment, added to the 1A5A1 version, incorporates the Henzelt Spectus multispectral driver's sight system. The Spectus encompasses a front and rear view camera to bolster the observation range. They include a low-level camera with an uncooled thermal imager that merges both images and improves definition during low-visibility scenarios. Previously, the Martyr employed Rheinmetall's own Saphir 2.6MK thermal imaging device, specifically made for use with the Martyr. The Martyr is also receiving a new engine to bolster its power. The new six-cylinder Liebherr engine will provide 750 horsepower, a 150 increase compared to the original. Lastly, the Martyr includes enhanced safety measures based on the Puma IFV, such as a new cooling system with six fans and a fire warning and extinguishing system. All these new features keep the Martyr up to date with more modern IFVs worldwide, preparing it for another generation of fighting. Ukrainian Martyrs In early January 2023, the German government announced it would start supplying Ukraine with the first batch of martyrs. The U.S. military had pledged to deliver an initial batch of 50 of its thousands of Bradley M2 IFVs. The news came after a phone call between U.S. President Joe Biden and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. They shared their determination to provide humanitarian, military, and diplomatic aid to Ukraine. A government press release stated, quote, To this end, the United States intends to provide Bradley-type infantry fighting vehicles to Ukraine, and Germany intends to supply martyr-type infantry fighting vehicles. Both countries plan to train Ukrainian armed forces on the respective systems. Rheinmetall has manufactured more than 2,000 martyrs since 1969 and has more than 300 currently in service, while the Bundeswehr awaits deliveries of the more powerful Puma. It seems likely that many of the hundreds of martyrs that Germany has in storage will make their way to Ukraine in the upcoming months, as the Ukrainian army prepares for a counteroffensive against the Russian forces. Ukraine is in desperate need of IFVs. The army currently has two dozen mechanized brigades, each requiring a hundred fighting vehicles. Currently, the Ukrainians are employing pre-war Soviet BMPS-1s. They were developed during the same time as the Martyr. Still, they have not been upgraded and lack increased armor, optics, and a more powerful cannon. Whichever the case, it is only a matter of months before the trained Ukrainian soldiers are seen on the battlefield driving German martyrs and American Bradleys for the country's next push to expel the Russians from occupied territories. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Doug Tech channel for more content about the latest fighting vehicles developed and other incredible advances in military technology. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos.